Hi folks and welcome to my top five Kickstarters I'm looking forward to. I get this question quite often and the list always changes so I thought hey why not do a short video of what I'm expecting right now? What am I looking forward to? Well, this is going to be kind of short because there's only five that I think I've backed right now that haven't come in, oddly enough. So I just ranked all those. So number five is Tunguru. It is kind of like a tribal dice placement game. They had me at dice placement. I, I saw this on Rotter Runs Through and I thought, yeah, that looks like a game that I would absolutely love. Now, uh, the game got delayed till December like a lot of my Kickstarters did so you know the hotness factor of me wanting to play it has really dropped you know so out of all my Kickstarters it's the one I'm least excited about right now but when it comes in I am interested in playing it now the reason I backed it in the first place is because I like the theme and of course I like the dice placement aspect of it uh, recently I did find another like tropical island theme in Stefan Fell's Bora Bora which I really love so Tunguru has something to go up against you know in, as theme goes but I am excited for when it comes in my hair is everywhere like Justin Bieber oh anyway so number four is Dinosaur World I have Dinosaur Island and I really enjoy the game and I was so sorry that I missed out on the Kickstarter the original one so when Dinosaur World rolled out I went yeah, why not? I thought I'd give it a shot. It looks a little bit different than Dinosaur Island, but I love what they did with Dinosaur Island. I like the thinking and what I've seen so far with Dinosaur World, so I'm pretty sure I won't be disappointed, and this is why it's number four on my list. Number three is Dice Hospital Community Care. It's expansion for Dice Hospital. Folks, uh, last year you saw me review Dice Hospital. I absolutely love the game. Just recently played it again and still love it. Now, unfortunately, uh, it's not coming out to the end of the year either. This was supposed to be out in the summer, and they kept delaying it, delaying it, delaying it, and now it won't be out till Christmas. So really bummed about that because, like I said, it's supposed to have like, these pink mini dice in there. It's supposed to be for, like, for a maternity ward for babies, and I like the thinking behind it and I'm interested to see will it add uh, to Dice Hospital and make it even better game than what it already is. At number two is Stefan Feld's Amsterdam by Queen Games. Now of course I got this because it was Queen Games. I also like Stefan Feld as well but the reason I got Amsterdam is because it is a basically a reprint of another hard to find game of his called Macau. Now I've always liked Macau. I wanted to play it but because it's so expensive secondhand, I never bought a copy. Well, now you can get one. It's a really nice copy. They just rethemed it. In fact, I have a pretty good idea that these five Steph and Fell games they talked about that are going to be coming out in this series, most of them will be reprints. <laughs> I'd be shocked if one of the next ones that come out wasn't a reprint of Strasbourg, which is another one that I've been wanting to play, but it costs way too much. I'm sure Queen Games is going to bring that back under some other, other name as well. But uh, I did get Amsterdam. The other one, which was like the remake of Bruges, I highly recommend because it comes with the expansion. And uh, that's a really great one. But I got Amsterdam because it is connected to, well, basically just a reprint and with a, a 1.5 five version of Macau. Speaking of Stefan Fell, he makes number two on my list, as well as Queen Games does. I got the Merlin Big Box. There's a good friend of mine who recommended Raja of the Gajis to me, and that was one of his best recommendations to me. Now, he's pretty good on recommendations, and he told me, Matt, get the Merlin Big Box. You definitely won't be upset by it. So I was like, Okay, so I went ahead, just went all out, got it all. I got to see it played a little bit. I am interested. I think it'll be good. I do like the theme, so we'll see how it is. I also love Queen Games. I trust Queen Games. Trust Stefan Feld to make a good game here. Again, this game won't be out to December either, but I am very much excited to play it and the expansions. And finally, my number one is in the top three of my five here by Queen Games. It's basically, I'm going to call this a Queen Game bundle package. It was was really with the Alhambra Roll and Write, but I didn't buy the Alhambra Roll and Write. I just uh, back uh, back that project late so I could get all the other goodies that came with it. So that means I'm getting the big box version of Escape Curse of the Temple. Uh, a good friend of mine really recommended this. It is a queen game, so I am interested. And I went ahead and just 
went all out. Uh, this this uh, roll and ride also came with an, a, another mini expansion to uh, Escape Curse of the Temple and an Alhambra expansion because I thought I had it all, but they came out with one extra one this year, and I have to have that to add to my rest of my Alhambra uh, collection. But then most importantly, the one I'm super excited about that's going to come with this package all in December again, December's going to be a big month for me, uh, is the Fresco expansion. I love Fresco. I think Fresco is a solid game, and they came up with even more <laughs> expansions for it, and I am all giddy about playing all of them at once. So when that whole package comes in, when everything comes in December, I'll be super happy. I mean, if you think about it, everything but Amsterdam and Dino World are coming in in the end of December. So those are my top five Kickstarters I have coming in. But hey, let me know in the comments below what Kickstarters have you backed and are excited to be getting in in the next months, years, who knows. All right, folks, see you later.